Crime Tracker 10 following crime in our community and efforts to stop it. Columbus City Council approved more than $1 million overnight. Tina Ramos is following the money and looks at trends in central Ohio neighborhoods. Tina. Yeah, Clay, we can tell you it's no secret that 2021 was a very violent year in the city of Columbus, and city leaders have been doing all they can to try and stop this crime. But the big question is, is it really working? Well, we can tell you last night, Columbus City Council right here behind me, they took the next step in trying to bring those numbers down. Matter of fact, Columbus City Council, they made a statement of sorts uh, late last night here by approving over a million dollars in funding to help support organizations that target problem areas in our community. Now, part of that money also includes funding for the community crime patrol group that has been visible near the OSU campus after crime surfaced at the beginning of the school year. This is a group of citizens that have become the eyes and ears for Columbus police. Uh, Columbus Urban League is another organization that will see the influx of money. This group has been instrumental instrumental in helping young people through assistance from people like Adrian Jones who was once a gang member but now helps others turn their lives around. The Urban League's president says this latest funding will help them expand their reach. In the past we've been confined to certain uh, segments of the city. But now with this new legislation and the way it's being crafted um, under um, the new director of public safety, um, it'll give us our folks the ability to work uh, it throughout all of Columbus. Now we can tell you this latest move from City Council. Well, Clay, they're hoping this will make an impact in trying to bring those numbers down. Tino, you did some digging for Crime Tracker 10 into the data, and you're seeing those numbers are looking a little different now than they have in years past. Yeah, you know, we asked that question at the beginning of this saying that is it working? So we did do some checking with Crime Tracker 10. We dug into this and take a look at your screen. Here's what we found. What we did is the city has identified about a dozen neighborhoods in Columbus. We selected three at random here just to see what they look like in a two mile radius of their neighborhoods looking at crimes like felonious assault. Look at the hilltop numbers here. Now last year they had 291 reports at this time. This year, 231. But it's the other two that you see here, Frank Franklinton and Linden, those have dramatically dropped. Look at the Linden numbers. Last year, 305 reports. This year, 193. So, Clay, clearly something is working. Those numbers are starting to go down, but they feel they still need to invest the money to make it go down even further. Yeah, hopefully this trend continues. Tino Ramos live at City Hall. Tino, thank you.